Hello everybody! Hi. In any competitive video game, there are always people that choose a character and stick by them no matter the cost, sometimes to the point where they'll be held back from victory just because they refuse to try something new or something better. In today's video, I aim to look at character loyalty from a Smash Bros. Ultimate point of view, seeing as my channel is already 90% Nintendo focused. I also believe Smash is one of the easiest games to find a new character in for many reasons. So let's begin. So, you're a Smash player. You picked up Ultimate Day 1 and immediately found yourself attached to, I don't know, Incineroar. But look at the time. Suddenly, the final Smash character is all that remains to be seen, and you haven't budged an inch in your competitive strategy. Sure, you've learned things as you've continued to play, and maybe you're even among the best Incineroar mains, but at a certain point, nobody's gonna get phased by what your character can do anymore. Now you have to deal with all these Zero Suits, Steves, Sheiks, and Marios that simply have better options than you do. This is a situation I've seen time and time again with many of my friends in the community, and it's 100% avoidable. Before I spill my thoughts though, I just want to say that you never have to switch off of your character. If that's how you have fun, and you aren't worried about it at all, then just don't worry about it. The ideas I bring up today are only for the people that are legitimately trying to overcome this mindset. First thing that I recommend, try finding a character in the 80 plus character roster that you think you'll enjoy. They don't have to have similar attacks as your main, or even play the same, but if that's what you want in a character then go for it. Just pick a character that you think is sick, and preferably has better frame data than your current main. Got your character? Okay sick, now put down Smash Ultimate and go play the game that character comes from front to back. No joke. This is my first tried and true method to enjoying characters you're unfamiliar with. I've never been a Zero Suit player. In Brawl, Project M, Smash 4, and Ultimate, I've felt her attacks to be very strange. I could never really tap into the flow of her character somehow. But, after I played through literally every Metroid game, <coughs> I had a drive to play the character, and I've been occasionally blasting ass against my friends. Not only that, but I've also been playing Samus and Ridley to greater success, because I've been interested enough to put time into them and improve. Same thing happened to me actually this last week with Inkling, as I've been getting more into Splatoon 2 again. Obviously, this won't work for everybody, but I do think it's worth giving it a shot if you've got time. Finding a genuine interest in a character will go a long way into your motivation to continue playing them. If you don't want to use my first method though, I've got a second one. I recommend trying to find a character that does play similarly to your current main. You play DK? Maybe try Bowser. You play Ganon? Try Falcon, or even Mario and Doc. You play Samus? Perhaps a villager could cover familiar ground for you. Finding one character out of 80 plus of them that plays similarly to the character that's holding you down really isn't very difficult. You just gotta be open-minded and willing to try to stick it through on a new character. Really give it a shot and forget about your main for like, two weeks. If this still somehow doesn't sound good enough for you, there's an obvious option that remains. Chances are, if you're stubborn enough to stick to one character for this game's entire lifespan, you've probably complained about some high tier characters. So play them. I know it's a meme at this point that you maybe deserve to lose if you aren't playing top tiers, but seriously, you should at least give them a shot. I think if you haven't done it before, just put some honest effort into playing one of the characters you think is up with the best in the game. Just like my second method, delete your current character from your mind for a little while and really get accustomed to a new style of play. You might even find that you enjoy playing some of the cheap or easy characters after all. And that's about all I got. I know today's video was a little short, but thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content, because I've always got more coming, and comment below some methods that you've used in the past or seen in the past to overcome character loyalty. And remember, there's nothing wrong with sticking true to your guns. If you're an Isabel main and proud to be, then who can tell you different? My name's Milo, and I'm out.